Hi friends, this is Rakesh and today we are going to learn how to perform a model analysis and a spectrum analysis over on a cantilever beam using a SOLIDWORKS simulation. So go to the file new and say create a new 3D object and select the front plane and uh, you select the boss extrude and then go into sketching tab and ske uh, sketch a rectangle of some arbitrary dimensions because here I want to show only how to perform simulation and they say give it 250 mm uh, extrusion length so press ok so this is the cantilever beam with which we are going to work ok so uh, in order to bring this simulation tab you have to just uh, go on uh, to these options and say add ins and uh, you have to tick mark this SOLIDWORKS simulation and uh, which is uh, uh, to be an active add-in and press OK so go on to simulation tab and just click on uh, new study and you select a frequency analysis uh, which means uh, it is going to do a basic model analysis so for now you have to apply a material for this first so go on to apply material and select one material and say apply and then uh, you can just close this and if you see the part 3 103 uh, carbon steel has been uh, applied to this and uh, there are no connections or uh, contacts so i am not i am leaving these connections and uh, i go to try to fix this and say fix your geometry and i want to fix this and uh, so i have clicked it on it and i have uh, placed it as a fixed geometry itself leave it as a fixed geometry and say ok and now uh, because this is a model analysis and with the pre-stress so we are not going to add any external loads so i'll right click say create mesh and i will accept the default settings and uh, click ok and the mesh has been generated and now i am going to run the results of the simulation so if you see the frequency of the model analysis is going on right now the solver is solving so after that uh, we have finished uh, to perform a model analysis but now I want to perform a random spectrum analysis. So for that you go on say new study and go on uh, select linear dynamic and you can select uh, in, uh, four types of uh, analysis in linear dynamic they are model time history, harmonic analysis and uh, random vibration analysis and a spectrum analysis and I am here interested in spectrum analysis so I click spectrum analysis and say ok and now uh, I have to put a material and so I select a 1023 carbon and say apply and close this one and uh, uh, go to the fixtures and fix this one end of this uh, uh, cantilever beam and then uh, I will right click and say uniform base excitation and, and uh, if you see uh, uh, I will be selecting uh, any one of this uh, and so this will be like this so oh some 12 mm displacement is there uh, uh, yeah okay it is there saying that not not to use another two so we have just used one so we have excited the base uh, so that we put a displacement 12 mm from the downside onwards so we say uh, we'll generate mesh with the default settings and now we are going to run a simulation on this uh, model analysis so now it is uh, simulating and, uh, it will take a little bit of time because uh, this is an uh, spectrum analysis which we excited from the bottom so the behavior will be like this so this is how we perform a model a basic model analysis and a spectrum analysis so thank you friends for now thank you friends bye